It was rather dramatic rope ladder training Wednesday on the Buffalo River. The Erie County Sheriff's Office said it was a multi-agency maritime training exercise set up by State Homeland Security, in this case at the Naval Park's USS Little Rock, and involving their SWAT deputies, bomb squad, Buffalo and Rochester police, state police, environmental conservation, FBI, Border Patrol, and others. It looked unusual for us, but... Something they don't normally do, which is boarding vessels and then clearing vessels. Uh, clearing vessel is much different than clearing a, a residence, uh, something that would probably never be practiced, um, and, and so it was done. While we realize in a post-9-11 world that our regional border security has been stepped up in so many ways, even on the land where truck-carried bombs crossing the border could be more of a threat for counterterrorism experts. Radiological detectors um, uh, for detecting you know, radiation, people... People don't realize how porous the borders are. Um, one specific uh, instance of training like this, it's great. Again, multi-jurisdictional, familiarized with everybody else's uh, tactics. But this stuff is going on all the time. Actually, this 2017 Army War College report from a Coast Guard officer raises scary scenarios for weapons of mass destruction, like a bomb as a maritime or waterfront threat, noting that Great Lakes high population areas, including Buffalo, with proximity for commercial vessels, do make them valuable targets. And concluding, the U.S. government should set up joint federal, state, and local training for SWAT close quarters combat training on high-sided commercial vessels that could pose a threat. McMartin feels that maritime threat is overblown as most Lakers bypass Buffalo, but on the other hand... that Maybe the, the Erie County Sheriff's uh, SWAT team has never practiced, uh, but another agency has, so they could say, look, this is how you'll do it. 